best coaching advice I've received is focusing on relationships. So invest in relationships and then at the end of the day, it's going to come back around to you. And especially for women, I think it's not only just about building relationships, but how do you leverage them so that you can make those actually work for you in your career. Don't be afraid to ask for help, ask for guidance, ask for support to help take you to the next level as well. I focus on my North Star. So for me, it's all about making a difference and living with passion. So as it relates to my career especially, I remember that most decisions are not permanent. And so if that means that at some point you have new information, you feel differently about you know your own career interests, your own personal and family desires, that it's okay to change direction and find something that's going to work better for you, for your organization, for other people around you as well. I encourage people to be intentional about their next steps. And so you don't necessarily want to just kind of float through things and let things happen to you. So if you can think ideally long-term, but even break it down into smaller chunks, what's the next three to five years that you want? And so how do you prepare to make that happen? Be intentional about your career. And if that means that at some point you have new information, you feel differently about you know, your own career interests, your own personal and family desires, that it's okay to change direction and find something that's going to work better for you, for your organization, for other people around you as well. For me, practicing winning is all about setting goals and knowing what winning looks like. Then you can start to build a plan to get there. Then practice winning every day. So take small steps every day to move you forward towards that goal.